all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Working too hard can sometimes be detrimental to your mental But you won't see until your mind shut down Then you glitching like you got it, itch you just can't scratch Just a know-it-all, know-it-all until he get hard fact Why should I worry about things I have no power to change? Truth accepted and collected, I ain't going insane Anxiety is real, and it starts with control Why should I gain the world if it costs my soul? Whoa. Working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line it's easy to lose when you don't know why you lost and if you don't make a plan then you won't know why you lost it's a whole lot of sheep that love the title of boss i let my stress go because that makes it easy to fall i have been made free i took myself out that prison so let me give you the key while i rest on my mission it's the hardest command given for us to follow you can have all the money but you can still be hollow working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line it's hard for you to rest when you know that you broke and it's hard to sit still when they give you false hope take a lesson from the lion they sit calm and patient lying and wait for their prayer plan to eat for the day timing is everything don't give alert to the weak stay on the move but you still need rest from the week it's a time and a place don't make time for the fake need time for your love then just let the fake hate working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Yeah, 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 yeah. I am making this video to briefly discuss the results of failed leadership. In 2024, American Negroes are still herded to the polls to vote for nothing. We are giving foreign brown skinned people to make us feel part of this government. The brown skinned people only use us to get elected they are following the blueprint laid out by w.e.b the boys in which he promoted having a double consciousness the ability to code switch he said blacks must act like blacks and act like whites around whites the brown skin foreign people are playing this role in reverse obama sang amazing grace at a church Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris speaks with a Southern accent and play ratchet rap music at a political event, Meg the Stallion, solely to appeal to the lower consciousness that has been uh, perpetuated on black people. Once you vote them in, you are ignored and neglected for four more years. Let's discuss the results of MLK, Molek, the Canadian, the uh, Canaanite, Canaanite demon Molek, in which people sacrifice their children 
to this demon in order to think they're going to get blessings in a book of Leviticus. A Phoenician Canaanite demon had the same acronym spelling as MLK because in the ancient Canaanite Phoenician religions, I mean, uh, the ancient Canaanite languages, the vowels were irrelevant. The consonants, the M, L, and K spells Molech. And this is Dr. King. He's a he's a demon that people, we sacrificed our future to. So let us discuss the results of MLK Molech since the 1960s. We have aborted 50 million of our children, our babies, 50 million abortions, crack cocaine epidemic, mass incarceration, the destruction of our economic base and corridors, and the worst part, the invasion of our borders. The most damaging and everlasting aspect of the failed MLK Molech leadership is the fact that we allowed, we have allowed all non-white men in the entire world to share in our resources, while these same nations offer us nothing in return. According to the Civil Rights Act and also the reform of the Civil Rights Act in 1980, which allowed Asians and Indian people to be considered a separate minority group from Negroes, all countries in the world, including European countries, African countries, countries in South America, Asia, all of their residents who come to the United States shares in the resources that should have been allocated and set aside to help black American people. Asian Pacific Islanders were just giving a hate crime bill, which included tens of billions of dollars for grants and investments from the Biden administration that excluded black people. Barack Obama created DACA as an executive order, which later became codified by Congress, which allocated resources, money, educational resources, free education, health care, and work, uh, work permits to the children of illegal aliens. These same people who are considered DACA also share in the resources from the civil rights movement. They are considered minorities. All the Asian population, the entire Asian population, which includes Taiwan, China, India, Afghanistan. Look at how many people this is. The entire Asian population is growing. 48, 4.8 billion people sharing in American black resources because they all are considered minorities, Asian Indians, Pacific Islanders, all African nations, all African nations who come to America, whose citizens come to the United States, share in the resources of black Americans. Not only do they share in the resources of black American people, they also, they also have access to our educational resources they have access to our um, jobs, affirmative action, which the Supreme Court just knocked down. All, all benefits that was allocated to Black American people, all African, um, all African citizens or foreign nationals have access to that. Hold on. but not a number of people in Africa. How many people are in Africa? So we just counted nearly 5 billion people in Asia. Four point, I just estimated to 5 billion people in Asia. How many people are in Africa? How many people? The number of people in Africa is one point five billion so that's 6.5 billion people 
who has potential access to the scarce resources of black America due to the failed leadership. And then we have the CBC, Congressional Black Carcass, who has done nothing to safeguard our resources. They had allowed 6 billion people. They have allowed six point, at least 6.5 billion people to, to uh, share in our, that's just Africa and Asia, because Asia includes the Middle East. Let's look at South America. How many people are in South America? What's the total population of people in South America? This is failed leadership. And the congressional black carcass or any black leadership, any person who calls himself, even the YouTube influencers, the Tariq Nasheeds, the Roland Martins, nobody is allocating or advocating that all of these countries who are capable and able and are benefiting off of black American resources should have an equal program in their countries for us. If we want to expatriate or seek asylum in some of these countries, they should offer us resources, housing resources, educational resources, job resources, just to be uh, fair. Just so it could have some type of equality because how was it just they could come here and get resources that's allocated to less less than 50 million people the whole world could come here and and, and share in our resources yet their countries have nothing for us no african country has anything set up set up to help the black american people yet all africans can come to our country and share in our resources even the people what's the total population of latin america what's the total population of latin america let's look it up we already counted 6.5 billion people how many people are in latin america hold on Six hundred and fifty-six million. So that's six point five billion plus sixty. Let's just say that's six hundred million. So that's seven point one billion people in the world potentially can come to the United States and siphon off resources from American black people. Yet none of these countries in South America, in Latin America, Middle America, Mesoamerica, Mexico, Panama. Colombia, Argentina, Brazil, none of these countries have programs specifically set up to help our people, yet all of these people can come here and share in our scarce resources. And according to according to uh, Don Peebles, according to Don Peebles, hold on. Let me look up Don Peebles. The United States allocates $69 trillion to be invested in bits and private businesses in the United States of that 69 big trillion, $69 trillion, six point, I mean, 67.7 trillion goes to white males. The, the remaining 1.3 trillion is allocated to all other minorities who can enter into the United States. And then we have situations in which foreign companies can actually have access to American resources. We have these foreign trade deals. You call up T-Mobile. Most of the time you get you, the, the phone get answered by a person who live in India. But the people who live in America, 1.3 trillion is allocated to all other minorities. The rest of the money is allocated to just white males. It would make more sense if people from Asia, people from Africa and uh, Latin America will compete with white men for the 67 trillion, but they set, they settle for the guaranteed money that should be going to black American people. 
And then because all of our money is being siphoned by roughly 7.1 billion people, there's nothing left for us. So they say, oh, we're doing better than you in your country. Yet you are taking advantage of educational resources, scholarships, grants, business loans, student loans, whatever allocations or set asides to help you succeed in business and education because solely because of the civil rights movement, because of Molek, MLK, yet your country gives nothing to us. This this uh, sharing and allocation misappropriation of funding should be cut, should be ended immediately. The Congressional Black Caucus should have an emergency meeting and vote to amend the Civil Rights Act or to suspend the Civil Rights Act to get rid of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 because it is not benefiting the people who was who originally were intended to be benefited from it. It is benefiting 7.1 billion people in the world who who whose countries have nothing set aside for our people. It is no is no fair trade. It is a hundred percent in economics. They say it is a hundred percent trade deficit in which they get all of the resources from us and we get nothing from them. It's like when a foreign company, a foreigner set up a business in a black community and then a black community is shop, shopping and, and trading with that business. If that business is not trading with the people in that community, that is a deficit of 100% in which all the money is exiting and nothing is being ter- re- reciprocated. That is a bad deal. Those foreign companies in the black community, the, the uh, nail salons that's ran by Koreans, the Chinese uh, chop suey shops, East Indian Dunkin' Donuts, the Arab gas stations, the convenient, the liquor stores, they, it's a 100% trade deficit in which they're selling to you and you're selling nothing to them. They're just taking your hard earned money or however you got your money, you're giving it to them with no expectations because we are illiterate when it comes to economic financial literacy. We don't understand trade. We don't understand commodities. We don't understand what, because we're, we're left as a uneducated people. So they could be, so we could be taken advantage of and exploited. The uh, Venezuelan migrants, when they have a child, they see that child as the key to their salvation because, because of the uh, Immigration Reform Act of 1990 that allows for chain migration. If that child that child has the right to bring all of their family members, their mother, father, village, to the United States because that child gets citizenship because of the 14th Amendment. So the, the children of the immigrant is the key to their salvation. But the American black women see the children as the key to their demise, their destruction, because they say there's not enough money. That child is going to stifle their career, stifle them. But yet the migrants see the child as the, the, the gift that's going to allow them to stay in this country. And it's solely due to our perspective and our lack of education and a failed leadership of Molech, the uh, black Greeks, the divine nine Phoenician demons who are, who are telling the black people that they should get sterilized. Should, uh, they allow us to be uneducated and poor so we could uh, have a better chance of failure because poverty and, uh, and, mis- and lack of education leads to crime, criminal activity because the uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs says that if you don't fulfill your basic desires, you can never ascend to a higher level in society. You will you will end up becoming a savage beast to s- fulfill your lower desires or your basic desires for food, clothes, and a shelter, and whatnot. So the black Greek black leadership are not allowing us to get access to the resources, and they are allowing all of these people from all over the world, approximately 1.7 billion people, the black Greek boule, black carcass. Congressional Black Carcass, our leadership class has allowed all of our resources to be siphoned off. And then the black mayors, the black governors of America in 2024, particularly Eric Adams, Brandon Johnson, 
are taking the COVID resources that was allocated by the Trump administration that was not spent. They are giving all of that money to illegal immigrant migrants and causing them to be housed and clothed and sheltered and giving them $20,000 debit cards while giving the people, the black American black people who already have very little resources because of what was mentioned earlier in this article, the resources allocated because of the civil rights movement of the 1960s is being siphoned off and swallowed up by, by 7.1 billion people. And then the whole world wants to come here looking for that small amount of money to take from us instead of being, instead of having some type of dignity and competing for the, for the resources from white people, they call themselves minority. How can 7.1 billion people be a minority? Let me look at the total population of Earth and look at the ratio between the minorities and the non-minorities. Hold on. How many people is on Earth? Earth has you can't you won't you won't believe this. You won't believe this. The planet Earth has 8.2 billion people. So 8.2 billion compared to 7.1 billion. What's the ratio between 8.2 and 7.1? Yeah, 84% of the world population are considered minorities, which is ridiculous. And those countries make up hundreds of countries. How many countries are in Africa? None of these countries have a program similar to the Civil Rights Act, affirmative action, allocating resources for black American people. And yet they all could come to the United States and bask and share in our resources. And we, our leadership class has allowed this theft to continue. They have allowed this theft to continue. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about today, the results of failed leadership. Let me go over it. Once again, let me go over it. Let me go over the results of failed leadership. In 2024, American Negroes are still being herded to the polls to vote for nothing. We are giving foreign brown-skinned people to make us feel part of this government. The brown-skinned people only use us as to get elected. They are following a blueprint of W.E.B. Du Bois in which he promoted having a double consciousness the ability to code switch. The brown-skinned foreign people are playing the, this role in reverse. Obama sang Amazing Grace at the church. Kamala Harris spoke with a Southern accent and played ratchet rap music at a political event. Uh, Meg the Stallion, once you vote them in, you are ignored and neglected for another four more years. The, let's look at the results of MLK Molek and his civil rights movement. 50 million abortions, crack cocaine epidemic, heroin epidemic, mass incarceration, the destruction of our economic base, the destruction of our business corridors, and the invasion of our borders, and a most damaging and everlasting aspect of failed MLK Molek leadership, Black Boule, Divine Nine leadership, is the fact that we allow all non-white men in the entire world to share in our resources while these same nations offer us nothing in return. There's no equal exchange going on. It is 100% de a deficit, trade deficit. All of their citizens could come to the United States and specifically share in the resources that should be allocated for Black American people. But the Black American people must go to these people's countries and we must come with our own money, our own education, our own businesses. They have nothing similar in their own countries for us. And yet they all could come here and, re and, and, and swallow up all of our resources because of our black leadership, failed leadership, the black carcass, 
the black church, the uh, intellectual class Negroes, they feel that we are, it's our obligation to provide for approximately one point, I mean, approximately 7.1 billion people, all of which are considered minorities from American standards. And this is an absolute tragedy. We must immediately get to Congress and uh, reform or abolish the Civil Rights Act of 1964, go back to Jim Crow segregation, separate but equal, or go back to the Civil Rights Act of 1866, the Freedmen's Bill, the Freedmen's Bureau, and the uh, original intention of the 14th Amendment, and take away birthright citizenship for anybody who have a baby and get rid of the Civil Rights Act, I mean, uh, the Immigration Reform Act of 1990, which allows 1 million immigrants to, to migrate to the United States per year and allow the children of migrants to bring in their whole families or the uh, family of people who have green cards, who was naturalized, they could bring in their whole families to the United States and enjoy. And if these people are brown or Latino or black from Africa, they all have access to the scarce limited resources that is allocated to for investment, education, financing, and business the business investment, which is according to people's Don Peoples, the United States, and according to the uh the federal government, the United States has sixty nine trillion dollars invested. And over 90% of which goes to white males, 6.67.7 trillion. All other groups must share 1.3 trillion. And of that 1.3 trillion, less than two tenths of 1% goes to black women. And a number that goes to black men is even less than that. So the lion's share of the scarce resources that's allocated to minorities are not going to black American people. They're going to Asians, Africans, Latinos. And that's about it. Never too late. 
Super fly, Foxy Brown, Minutes of Society, Nino Brown. Told you my time to sit no cloud nap. Set it off and you did those crimes. Do your time, looks back and wham. Lost our man and we dipped them in blind. Man, listen, we had too much rope and so too much dope. Fail for the okie doke, now we stuck in this choke hope. They hustle in our votes, the presidents to the popes, the people and the folks, the beast got them in a scope. The society spreading fear, we stuck in this atmosphere. The people won't care about nothing if they're not aware.